Okay, so I've done a full body cleanses on both of them. Space is sterile. <sighs> Did you get blood samples for Kensington's research project? Mm hmm. <sighs> nice work, Dr. Wakefield. <laughs> so, another drone. Yeah, they dropped nerve agent on their apartment block. A woman was coming home from the shops. The boy was playing with a soccer ball. What, you mean a, a football? Hi. I'm Amy. You're... Talo. Pleasure to meet you, Talo. Are you going to hurt me? I'm team doctor. You got injured, but I'll have you back playing football very soon. Okay? Reese, I need to administer atropine. Yeah, I, I didn't get a chance to restart the vials. Supply tent now! It's okay. Tell him, it's okay. Atropine injections worked on everyone I treated in Syria. Okay? Hey, hey, hey. You're alright. You're alright. What's your name? Dima. We're not safe here. The Supreme Leader ordered this attack. We're here to help you. He's trying to kill us. Both of us will stand against him. Oh. Tell me. Will this kind of ruin my life? Tata. It's very serious. You're in the best possible hands, I promise. Honesty. It's very nice to hear it for once. Thank you. I need... I need to save my baby. The supply tent's been depleted. There's only one vial left. What are you gonna do? Make a decision. Dima, give me your arm. Dima, please, you have to trust me. This will save you and your baby. Reese, how do I save them both? Reese! We stand on the precipice of history. I'm Dr. Amy Tennant, visionary Natalie Kensington, to inform you how your investments have made that possible. Firstly, we've been using your billions for the greater good. The Kensington Corporation's relationship with Kindar has flourished since the resolution of its civil war. Our teams have been working on development projects with some of the country's top scientists. Natalie has even developed an internship program for some of the country's brightest young minds. In fact, some of our Kindarian interns are here with us today. Oh, hey. Is Kindar still a totalitarian state? Human rights violations and all that shit?
Kandor is at peace, but your concern is understandable. May I continue my presentation? I'm just saying, it's bad PR for us to associate with Kensington if she's dealing with the dictator. Well, as you've seen, that's simply not the case. Why is there so much research happening out there? It's a fucking waste of our money and resources. Kindar is a former British colony, and we're all here trying to help it recover. It seems like good philanthropic PR to me. And it's a tax haven. Go on. Now, the real reason you're here. The Kensington Complex. Our impenetrable HQ of laboratories built bespoke to Natalie's specifications by the world-renowned Parker Kaplani. Deep within the complex is Security Lab Alpha, a womb of scientific advancement. There, we have something remarkable in development. I'm sure all of your news feeds have told you that Gordon Grosvenor's expedition to Mars is becoming a reality. Yes, the first person to set foot on Mars will be British if we can hurdle this final obstacle together. Hey. Hey. Are you okay? Yeah, rough night. Don't do drugs, Kay. We can't fit a hospital on a 10-ton Mars lander. How do we get around this? Nanocells. Stem cells interwoven with nanotech. Once inside a host, they migrate to the site of injury. There, they regrow bone and generate extra blood to help catalyze the healing process. Tiny magic bullets. <laughs> What's your problem? This is, of course, just a mock-up. The real nanocells are still in development and securely back at the complex, but once they're ready, we can begin regulated human trials. Having treated victims of chemical attacks all over the world, I know that nanocells could be miracle tech. <laughs> Amy, you need it urgently. Hang on. I have some serious concerns about this. Likewise. Before my employer invests any more capital, she wants some answers. Amy, it really can't wait. We need to get you to the car now. It's an emergency. I have to go, but please stay and enjoy the wonderful hospitality. Let's go, Emily. We need to get you on the scene immediately. The scene? What It's already gone viral. I'm ruling out food poisoning. She has other alarming symptoms, we've been told. Naturally, everyone's crying terrorism. A suicide bomber with a malfunctioning bioweapon? We need to get her to the complex. Okay, why is this our problem? Because she's one of our interns. Thank God you're here. This is beyond our remit. Excellent quarantine work. I'll examine her back at the complex. And we were waiting on your word before moving her. A uh, single person drone or ground ambulance. The drone will get her there faster. But it's more dangerous. If it crashes, then whatever's inside her, it gets out into the public. It won't crash, it's Kensington Tech. Use the drone, Amy.
drunk. Don't fuck it up. So, what else do we know about her? Nothing yet. Let's get back to the complex. Bodies of a renegade. Well, the prospect of losing a friend in a strange country. I can empathise with that. Today we need all your field experience, Amy. Time to roll back the years. Mm -hmm. You can say that again. You've got to be kidding me. Ah. It's been a while, Dr. Wakefield. You got here fast. Well, there weren't any blood vomiting ladies on my tube line. Reese Wakefield. Hug. Let's walk and talk. So, which legend fed the media the anthrax rumour? I need to take this. Was it her? So, do we have a name yet? Claire Mahek, she's one of us. Inside job? No, she must be acting alone. Why else would she take the tube? Well, Uber doesn't offer a getaway car service yet, so... Look, if we considered the hysteria might actually be valid. What, terrorism? I highly doubt it. Perceptive as ever. Hey, Amy, look. I promise. I didn't know you still worked here. If I did, I would have... Stayed away? Yeah, I'm sure. <sighs> Look. Why are you skydiving? Or bungee jumping? Or whatever it is that you were up to? Because I'm passing through London. I checked my Twitter feed this morning, saw something I could help with. Plus, Kensington wants my expertise again. Well, she already has my expertise. I'm not disputing that, nor am I apologising for the skydiving. Guy's gotta live. And if you could come back and let me know your decisions. Okay, thank you. You didn't want to run this by me? Two lifesavers are better than one. Reese Wakefield is a deserter. I know he's let us down in the past, but people change. Emily did due diligence too. Come on. Hey, uh, guys, can I just, uh, have five minutes? Just, uh, just need to use the gents. Can we go, please? Now I'm going to use the toilet as well. There are toilets down there. Amy! Gender fluid toilets, new policy. from your assistants down in security lab, Alpha. You should see the other guy. Security lab, Alpha. Nat, is this my tech? Yes. But how? 
now. I mean, nothing leaves or enters the lab without us knowing about it. Emily and I will get to the bottom of that. You just get the nanocells, otherwise our life's work's gone. All of the nanocells are inside of her? It, it was the master batch. No duplicates were made. Good luck. Oh my god, you guys are serious about your fashion. Yeah, no more frumpy hazmat suits. Pressure suits? You'll see. Alright. Better change in facilities than in the Congo, eh? Yeah. In Kinder. Going into space. Vacuum conditions active. Something like that. Echo! This vacuum acts as the last line of defense to prevent microbes from escaping the lab. The lack of air makes it sterile as hell. Well, that's great on a microscopic level, but it could do with some physical. Barriers. How long have you worked here again? Four years last Wednesday. Yeah, it's been that long. Just thinking about some of the stuff we saw. I saw a whole other year's worth after you left. It wasn't just skydiving. I needed a reset. Try new things. Learn anything that could help us today? Hope not. 